this remains the only restriction in the city, but the recovery has been slow, and business owners say the cancellation of big events will make it even more of a challenge. For the second year in a row, there will be no 4th of July fireworks celebration at the Inner Harbor. And no artscape either. According to organizers, the festival alone pumps $28 million into the city's economy each year. COVID restrictions recently forced the Baltimore City 10-miler to relocate from Druid Hill Park to Baltimore County. The city office of permits wasn't open for us to do it. Obviously, a race doesn't come off in you know, a week, so we had planning to do, um, and we just couldn't get a permit. The city's slow pace of loosening COVID restrictions in general, now coupled with the cancellations of some big events, is having a big economic impact. Businesses like the Pratt Street Ale House count on those crowds. You take away anything from the downtown area and it's going to affect us heavily. The city put tighter restrictions in place in the surrounding counties. During the pandemic, Baltimore lost as many as 13,000 jobs. One economist estimates the loss of personal income still deprives the city of significant revenue. The city loses six million a day every the, the, day. The closed. economy of the city loses six, six million a, a day. Parking and hotel revenues together decline by 50 million, but overall, the Downtown Partnership's annual report indicates the city fared well during COVID and gives credit to restaurants and retailers finding new ways to stay in business. The city's occupancy rate at 94.85 percent remained higher than the national average. The influx of federal and state money also helped. The mayor is using $51 million from the Federal American Rescue Plan to help close a budget shortfall. You know, federal aid, that's, that's helping them um, sort of, you know, uh, paste over some of the um, uh, budget gaps. Um, but, you know, as the, the longer the city remains shut down relative to its neighbors, the more difficult it will be for those businesses to regain traction with their customers. There are signs the city is loosening up. Bigger crowds will soon be allowed at sporting events. Conventions are being booked. And so far, Baltimore's running festival is still on for October. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.